751 on a snowy, blustery uh, January 2nd. Aaron Katursky joins us covering this uh, Supreme Court story and the Affordable Care Act. Good morning and Happy New Year, Aaron Katursky. Happy New Year, McGraw. Good to hear your voice. Uh, let's start off with uh, we're now living in the world of the Affordable Care Act, but wait, there was one last Supreme Court decision. What's going on here? Uh, this involved the, the part of the Affordable Care Act that mandates contraceptive coverage, and this is, uh, of course, an objection uh, by religious groups. Uh, the, the church itself is exempt, and so are many of its affiliates, but one order of nuns in Colorado was not comfortable with the exemption. The, the Little Sisters of the Poor said that opting out of coverage and yet authorizing a private company to pick up that uh, contraceptive coverage as required uh, is is objectionable. It asked for an emergency injunction, and Justice uh, Sotomayor uh, granted it uh, about an hour or so before the Affordable Care Act uh, took effect in full on January first. And then she she she. It, this is at least a stay, from what I understand. Correct. Yeah, this is temporary, and the government has until Friday to respond. And so it's not uh, any kind of a blanket thing that applies to everybody. It's just this one particular group of nuns and anyone else that shares the health plan that they use. The government says already exempt from having to provide uh, birth control coverage, but the, 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 the way that it went about exempting these groups is, is what they find objectionable. They don't have to provide the contraceptive care, but they must authorize a private insurer to do so. And, and even that authorization form, the nuns said, uh, is objectionable. And so Justice Sotomayor granted the temporary injunction, but the Supreme Court may have to ultimately make a ruling in a much broader sense. Already the Supreme Court will decide whether the mandate should apply to private corporations who object to it, uh, a case of Hobby Lobby. Uh, which objects to having a, uh, a a mandate for contraceptive care imposed on them on uh, on religious grounds. Yeah, is this just covering the nuns, or are there there are lay people who work with these nuns that it would also cover? Well, that and, and that's the issue. The 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 the. the any lay people the the White House believes deserve to have coverage, even if the the, the religious people that they work for object. Uh, and and the White House says decisions should be made between a woman and her doctor. The, the, the role of the employer uh, does not apply here. Of course, uh, uh, others see it a different way, and so that's why there's the, been this uh, been this fight. But uh, it, it's a bit of a bit of a gray area for the the strictly religious organizations are exempt. But uh, these kind of nonprofits that are affiliates, uh, it's been a little uh, dicier for them. And there have been a number of objections we've seen around the country. This one happened to, to reach uh, the Supreme Court in an emergency injunction uh, just before the ball dropped. Why did it take so long for the nuns to object, and why did it take them so long to do something about it? Well, they, they had objected, and I guess it's, it's fought its way through a number of lower courts before it finally reached uh, the Supreme Court, and Justice Sotomayor was on duty. On, uh, on, on New Year's Eve, and, and so she signed it uh, and now has given the government until Friday to respond so that she, uh, you know the, the, uh, a more uh, permanent uh, decision can be made. But the, the, the Supreme Court in general is going to have to take up the issue in a, in a more broad sense, which they're expected to do uh, in March and rule as soon as June. So what happens uh, Friday? So the, the, the f government responds and then uh, the Supreme Court has to rule again or, or what? What's the next step here? Well, I, I think it would be up to, to Justice Sotomayor. Uh, I, I, and and I, you know, forgive me, McGraw, I, do, I don't know the, the exact uh, protocol, but sure. yes, uh, the, she has given the government Friday to make a response to the, the temporary injunction that she granted. The administration has already said that the, this religious group is exempt, so it didn't believe the injunction was needed, but nonetheless it was issued. So the government's going to have to respond, and then Sotomayor uh, will, will, will uh, undoubtedly take that under consideration. But uh, you'll, you'll forgive me I'm not, I, I, for not knowing sure, sure, the, late, the, yeah. the next step. It, it is interesting, though, that Sonia— But, it, but this only applies—I mean, we're, we're talking about literally a few dozen people. This right. doesn't apply blanket to— to nonprofit organizations, and and that's really what 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 matters here. 
And uh, down the road in March, the Supreme Court is going to hear the case involving Hobby Lobby, which would uh, decide whether corporations who object on religious grounds can opt out of the, the mandatory coverage for contraception. Uh, and then uh, for, for these nonprofit groups, uh, the, the court may ultimately have to take up a case, whether it's this particular one involving a few nuns in Colorado or whether it's, uh, uh, you know, another one uh, the, to decide whether nonprofit groups who object should also uh, have this, uh, you know, have this ability to be exempt. It's really interesting. Uh, Sotomayor was appointed by President Obama. She rules against it. Uh, Supreme Court Justice uh, Roberts was appointed by Bush, and he voted for it. It's just sort of interesting how it all works out. Well, it, now remember, those are two different sure, things, though. Sure, the, the, right. the, the Supreme Court, uh, the, the chief judge was writing about the Affordable Care Act in general. Uh, this was a, a specific emergency uh, order. It happened to be that Justice Sotomayor was, was on duty, so she's not writing for the full court here. Right. Uh, this is just uh, you know, a, an emergency in, injunction in, in this one instance. Yeah. Aaron, uh, good to hear your voice. Happy New Year. Be safe, and we'll talk to you down the road. Okay, McGraw, thanks. Aaron Katursky here, 758 here, Big 550, KT.